Hi guys, Mr. Jaeger here, and welcome back to our little old front. So, we had a few things done in the previous episode. We were able to, with Umatadan and Krokgar, launch an attack which not only allowed us to grab the territory of El Kalabad, but also neutralize a bunch of dudes in this area, allowing us to successfully um, take and kill a, n a number of bad guys, getting us the ability to spawn some blessed creatures. Um, Krokgar was able to secure the town of Bel Alid, which is great. Uh, the slight downside is that, unfortunately, despite having a very good opportunity to do a lot of damage to these guys, um, Umata motherfucking Adan just doesn't quite have the, the movement points necessary to defend El Kalabad. And having only recently taken the town, I'm in no position to risk its loss um, without, you know, because the thing is, this army that's coming up against it, it's quite strong. It's got a bunch of feral cold ones, it's got a blessed carnosaur, three ancient salamanders uh, of varying degrees of strength and uh, well we don't know what else is there but it's basically quite a strong creature so if I had to engage it I'd have to take uh, I'd have I'd need both Krokgar and Umata motherfucking Adan to attack it so we've negotiated into a peace treaty which was one of the original plans so now of course the benefit is I can focus completely on annihilating the humans in and around uh, the territories we've got the pools of despair and the Eye of the Panther. They do have some territory up at the top here, but knocking, leaving this alone or knocking it out X, Y, or Z um, doesn't really matter. The main aim is to try and kill this area and kill this area so we can eliminate human presence in the region and then turn our attentions otherwise. We also negotiated a peace with the Knights of Origo uh, because they lost super bad and we're like, fuck you, be at peace, and they were like, fine. So... All in all, we've made a quite a significant series of gains in the last few episodes. Our economy is, I would argue, not as good as it could be, um, sadly. Uh, so, mm, it's not great. But the important thing is that we are attempting to try and... Oh, thank God. Uh, attempting to try and stabilize. I think stabilize is probably our best thing. And that's just my bottle falling over. Yay, moving that back onto the bottom. Um, just to give you guys a bit of a... It's like out of video thing, but if in case you hear some kind of weird wind sensation or occasional blowing, I do apologize. I have got a fan on because it is very warm today. So if um, at all you hear that, that is what's going on. So apologies for that, but here we are. So yes, unfortunately there is uh, nothing I can really do, which is a bit of a shame about um, the lizard men. I had hoped we could actually somehow um, get them to attack El Calabad with Umatadan inside. Because El Calabad does have um, a defensive wall garrison along with extra troops. And I think if um, Umatadan could even come in as reinforcements, um, that would come as really useful. Ooh, Rinky. A log Zoctal I will not lose again. Uh, sure. Hmph, <laughs> one's so young. GG. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a good opportunity to be able to make peace and potentially uh, learn how to trade and negotiate. Because obviously, the main aim is to try and push west, which is what we're going to try and do. The humans are going to try and do something to counterattack, which is annoying, but if we can get Umatadan to watch over El Calabad, and then Krokgar makes a move towards Pools of Despair, maybe we'll be fine. Like, maybe we'll be able to withstand um, a few things, but, yeah. We just need him to... We just need to uh, get this war go well, this war going in the more... in a quick sense. If I can nab, nab Pools of Despair, that'll be the entire province under our control. And we can then start utilizing more useful um, buildings. Well, we can we can utilize the we can utilize um, the happiness province option, and then eventually start utilizing the money making aspect. But again, we do need to actually gain control. My, what I'm intending on doing for the humans located to the west of me. Oh no! Whatever shall I do? Lord Croax does. I 
that's their HQ with the largest contingent of humans left. And Bitey McBiteface now has the option to use this. Engine of the Gods. We'll go with that. I'll have the option to see what that does. I'm going to assume I can choose which one I can use. If not, I've just committed him to... Okay, once per turn. Okay, so I can, in fact, change whatever kind of stuff he is. I am going to give him uh, that as well. Luckstone. He probably should get something a little better. Uh, yeah. That. <laughs> Arrogant. Right. Right, unfortunately we can't seem to push to attack. Bell Alid can be fixed. Fixed. Right, we'll need to start preparing to attack there soon, so move to about there-ish. Really? Oh yeah, I forgot. If you're fifty it's a eight percent or whatever, it doesn't actually mean anything. You have to be above fifty percent or sixty percent. Right, you're fine. You're not so fine, but you in two turns you will be fine. Um and El Calabad is building up as well. Uh you can't really recruit anything, can you? At least not at the moment. Um Hmm. Shrine of the Old Ones. Untainted region wide. Hmm. Income from post battle loot. Malay defense. Untainted. Yeah, we'll probably go for this. Get something to impress the people with. Um, this area would probably be a good location to have certain things like that. So... You make your way towards El Calabad. You go Astromancy. Gives him an option. If we're not going to be able to do anything, I might as well have him right next to the borders. Shop. Still getting that replenishment. Right, so how's our research going? In about two turns, we're going to be able to increase our skink cohort. Ooh, that's going to be very useful, actually. We're going to get that, that, um, that, and probably that. Very much so. Um, then probably get some of that. Um, maybe some of that as well. Ooh, that would be very good. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll need to be careful, but I'm fairly certain we'll be able to. Use that to our advantage. <clears throat> they want military access. How about new? No. This is truly your will. Yes, it is. It is very much so. Because if memory serves correctly, I... Uh, Ooh, okay, we've got more territories to look at now. I can't wait to get um, in on the Eye of the Panther and have a look at it. I mean, I want to focus on getting Jaluk Oasis, perhaps. I mean, I, I keep umming and ahhing as to whether I should focus on jumping into the peninsula. Ooh. Ooh. This is a new... Followers of Nagash. So they are a threat. More importantly, they are a threat that I could take care of first. And I, they, and I wouldn't be the bad guys for dealing with. That's good to know. That's good to know, because we need the ability to be able to connect to a port. So if I go for the if I go for the um, Tomb King settlements first, that's going to make my life a lot easier. 
because the humans will run away and re retreat and whatever. These fucking Tomb Kings will never retreat. So having them like that is probably going to be what we need to do. We need to... Oh, we're so close. Like, we're just... We're so close. We're on the... We're coming up towards the cusp of... Um, well, I wouldn't say victory in the campaign, but we are coming up close to uh, achieving one of the main goals, which is getting to the to the West Coast. Um, which is... I'm excited for. I'm honest to God super pumped for, because if that means we can finally kiss the... Um, the main part of the plan to be done and be like right boom then we can as we're moving up our forces to secure the territories around the area the webways can become strong once again but we'll just need to ensure that these uh, territories are 100% secure though it it almost kind of looks like it would be a little easier or more logical to go from the north to the south rather than the south to the north because they're fighting the tomb kings uh, quite intensely at least the chaos forces have been uh, defeated re recently see that would be amazing if the entire campaign you know there's a big hoo-ha about becoming the chaos warriors yeah oh that's brilliant he needs to live. Retinoon, Bard, Leadership Aura, Esteemed Combat, Endeavor. Oh yeah, I'm happy about that. Right, the humans not likely. are not going to survive that one. You guys are assaulting a... Ah, shit. Tools of Despair is going to have walls and they've got all that other stuff going, so... Annoyingly, Pools of Despair are going to be... Two foot. No, he can't make it. We could. If I did, what kind of movement range would he be at? Probably not far enough, no. We'll keep you in reserve for now. Um, Krokka, I think he can... Oh, he can obviously attack and he will win. But it's just the pain in the ass of having to fight this style of battle again. But we need to secure this territory. We need this. We need this. So if I can auto-resolve. Which I can't. For fuck's sake. Why do I have less chance? Yeah, it doesn't matter. What's this? Uh, truth be told, that banner now, boom, that goes to the Pterodon Riders. They deserve it, especially since then their missile damage has increased, their reload time is reduced, and their weapon strength is more powerful. That's, that's something I'm down for. Right, question, do you have a custom settlement? Uh, no. No, you don't. It's not a very big settlement, but it is walled. It's a little tight as well. Alright, well, we'll see what we can do, but... As far as I'm aware, this settlement does not look like it's actually very well defended. So, we're going to have to seriously think about dealing with this problem quite determinedly. Uh, right, okay, you guys are all ready to go? Yep, let's do this! Uh. Oh! Because of the heat, I am drinking uh, a sort of watered-down juice drink. Which is no cappuccino of good fortune, but, you know, it's something. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, fortified city, the attack must breach the defenders and the capture. Really? It's almost as if I've done this a thousand times. I kind of wish they would give out more useful advice. Like, I know there's these sort of things which are meant to sort of tell people whatever, but... Eh. 
Or monsters to attack the fortifications. It's like I don't have any monster bar bitey McBite face. But the tradition of attacking and doing whatever is going to come through. Though, truth be told, having these Blessed Saurus units is going to be quite useful, especially since um, having them have the ability to run faster when it comes to assaulting territories is actually quite handy. I might keep these uh, particular units and, and just have an army of what we've got now. I do want to give him some Croxicores in the future, but... Right, yeah, that's fine. Settlement looks so weird, but okay. Right, well, the important thing is to not give them the opportunity to do some damage to us. So instead, you guys will chill. So, where do I want to go? Really, I want to go here and hit them from the right. So, Bitey and friends will... Oh, no, I just realized he's on a fucking um, mount. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Um, shit. Okay. <laughs> this is the mistake I made. Right, well, we'll put him here just because reasons. Um, he could still do that, though. We can still, we can still salvage. You know what? This is a good opportunity to learn how good that unit is. I don't think it's any good, but I might be wrong. Uh, we're going to go with perfect vigor. You will have Stork, and you guys will chill here, along with Krokka. Then, you three, in fact, all of you guys, make your way towards here, and tighten up the formation. Um, you boys also go here, just so that way we can be fine. Betsy, go here. Krokka is fine. Alright, there we go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, it's a lesson that we've learned. Never give them a pterodon. I'd be honest with you, I'd like to know what exactly this does. Burning alignment. What is that? So this is probably the benefit of having a uh, bite team of bite face on a wall. Oh, no, sorry, on a... Whatever the hell that is. Huh. The big thing, though, is knocking out those, um... The big thing is to knock out those, um, mortars. Knock out the mortars, we, we done good. What's the... Right, let's get the bombs ready to go. Luther for lizards! Ooh, what's he doing? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Did he just... Did we just half their army size? In a matter of moments? I don't believe it. And they were all gathered up there. And oh my god. And I haven't even used a single bit of magic. What the fuck? Okay, no, I can definitely see the benefits of having such a thing. It's just the disadvantages of having said advantages is crippling. Fuck yes. Just make them route. 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 That's all we want. Done. Good shit. That's all I needed. Right, make your way out. You. 
Now cast that. You're in range. The, 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 the unlucky side is the fact that you've not been able to do this, but the, the lucky side... Oh, and it's going up as well. The lucky side is that this particular battle, you've been able to do this. The, un, the, the lucky side, finger quote, is that the map size itself is so small that you could happily do this. But this is unprecedented. Like, the amount of dudes we've just blitzed is ridiculous. Like, it just, this dude gets better and better. So, we've made some definite, definite progress, that's for damn sure. Oh, you can't do it. But hey, you're gonna do it again, Buzz! Not as effective this time, but I'm definitely seeing the potential. Right, that's his maximum range. Um, yeah, I'd say about... Yeah, go there. Right. One unlucky dude. You don't attack me, seriously. All right, your funeral. Brave, but stupid. Right. I need to get me one of these, uh, what's it called? I need to get you one of those things. They're extremely good. So Bitey McBiteface, uh, sorry, Crocker and uh, Biggie are going to try and knock that gate down. Target eliminated. Right, taking care of them. The outriders, no dudes.
Nice. Boom. Once the gate gets broken, we can burst through and do a lot of damage. You're on the wrong side, aren't you? Is he actually on the wrong side? Well, it doesn't matter. The, the gates are broken through. Doesn't even matter. Gone. Boom. Make your way through. And Billy's bite, he can have some kills now. He's not really suited for melee combat, though, so we have to be careful. Make your way out. Yeah, he definitely. I think. I think. Uh, I think Bitey probably. Um, Bitey probably is not really suited for the. Uh, oh fuck! They got the big ones now. Okay, big dice. Devastating, though. This is probably the last of their. Well, this isn't the last of the effective organized resistance, but it's certainly given us much more things to worry about. <laughs> One poor spearman. Ooh, 
Whitey's taking a half a kick in. Make your way to the center of the area. Get on those walls and knock them down a size. Have fun! Crocodile just getting the kills up. 322? I don't even want to know. Oh my god! <laughs> 1134! Jesus Christ! Jesus! Like, 1100! That's ridiculous! Oh, here they come, more of those bastards. Right, you stay alive, you and you, go provide support down south. Crocodile, you know what to do. Oh, beautiful. I think that's the day done. Yep, that's the day done. We got him. Massacre time. Yeah, no chance. Massacre time. Jesus Christ. We have done a definite blow, though. A thousand dudes. That's ridiculous. I've never had so much casualties before. A very decisive victory, in fact. We killed so much, and I don't... <laughs> We've killed so many, it doesn't count his fucking kills. <laughs> He's killed over more than a th more than his numbers can count. He can only go up three digits. He's killed one thousand in his time. That is ridiculous. I don't think he's. A, I, this is probably his finest hour because over half. No. Uh, yeah, I'd say just under. Yeah, just under half of all casualties caused in this entire battle were caused by. Mighty McBite face. I'm so proud of him. I am just... The pride is beaming off me right now because holy shit, that was awesome. Ah! <laughs> and holy shit! Like, legit? Um... And we're back. And the battle has resulted in a rather sizable amount of victories there. Securing the territory... And, and uniting it all under one banner, which is nice. So now we have secured it under one province. I can do this. Actually, no, to be honest with you, if, we, if it's already doing that, we'll do it like this. Make it cheaper. Uh, so pools of despair, we've already got a shitload of those things, so let's not have that. Instead, let us have this and for Bel Alid, because it's on the borders, we need you to have that. Cool. Uh, El Calabad is also on the borders, so don't too worry. Don't worry too much about that. Um, and El Calabad. Ooh, dies. Nice. We'll get some dies for that. And we can give him some benefits on that. He doesn't seem to rank up, despite him deserving to rank up. Mr. Krokgar has reached the tentative rank of 40. Just becomes even more powerful. <laughs> Just not even going to die. Not even going to give them a chance. Nice. Um, so, 
He's doing that. They're doing that. Can I afford any more? Oh, he can. Who's A? Right, so he's got one, two, three units of blessed crocs, uh, blessed dudes. So technically, he's got himself quite a, a formidable army as well, which is actually quite nice. Um, there is an army of humans who could do some damage, but I don't think they will. Not at least, um, at least not for a time. Pools of despair will keep um, under our control because we don't obviously have the means to defend them at this moment. But as soon as the next turn comes along, we will. And then I'll probably have a go at those humans if they decide to come and attack. Then what we'll do to finish off the human presence in this sector is to move Krokgar back down towards the west. And to attack the last sector known as the Eye of the Panther. Unfortunately for us, it does seem to give them at the moment... Um, they do seem to have at the moment a full-fledged garrison with demigriff knights. That's quite alarming. They've also got some human cavalry along with what looks to be their last commanding officer. So, Bitey McBiteface and um, Krokgar are going to make their way towards Eye of the Panther. And we're going to try and see if we can neutralize that sector. Um, I'll probably raise it to the ground more th rather than capturing it. Because... To capture it now, while it would be a very good idea in terms of equipping and getting supply, well, in terms of nabbing whatever, I'd have to go to war with this sector as well, which is, yeah, no, thank you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk going to war with those guys just yet, especially since we still need to knock out the Jaluk Oasis as well. So if we can nab that, destroy that, and then maybe I don't know, push on to Zandri. And once again, wipe that off the face of the earth. Um, then we'll eliminate the human re the threat. The Bretonians won't need to hate us so much. And then we can begin to contemplate the attack on Jaluk Oasis. Seeming as these guys are distracted. And now is a good opportunity to attack Jaluk Oasis. It's only their one settlement province. And their garrison's strong. But it ain't that strong. Not against two four, not not against the combined might of both, crack. Um, not against the combined might. I think he heard me talking about them. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I'm going to need to transfer Bitey McBiteface to, uh... Oh, that's very tempting. I'm going to transfer Bitey McBiteface to become his usual big self again. It looks like the Nagash followers have defeated that tribe. And whooped them royally. Holy shit. We still need to go for Eye of the Panther, though. So, our objectives are to focus on getting Eye of the Panther f knocked out. Then, let's make a move towards getting um, sectors like Jaluk Oasis to be neutralized. But, depending on what happens. Because we still have a treaty and everything else. Not that it really matters. At least with the people surrounding us. And then, what we can do is we can get the treaty to, like, 30% extra relations to the other tribes for completing the mission. And technically speaking, I might wait until I do that um, when I connect the territories to the... when I can, you know, connect and say, hey, I've completed the first phase of my assignment, which is... I have... Because for anyone wondering what I'm talking about when it comes to connecting to the coast, to reiterate the objectives in a very loosely-minded story, um, the story is Krokgar was sent on an expedition to re-establish the geomantic webway, which is an ancient old, which is an ancient method that the lizard men use to communicate and coefficient as a society. Also, it helps them channel the magic in the area. Nope. Um, so, because of the recent uh, mutterings of the, well, because of the recent prophets talking about the rise of chaos uh, and its subsequent potential to destroy all. Um, in the north, what they are... Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Um, to find the sub... To, it's actually quite handy. Um, to... In order to find and destroy 
the uh, sorry again. To, in order to have a um, decent chance to find and destroy the chaos forces that may come down south to eliminate the plague wow those 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 knights are really struggling to survive love every second of it um to be able to, to survive against those things crocker was sent on an assignment to take over the southern lands of um the world the old world and to re-establish the geomantic webway which allows the lizard men to communicate coefficient and also to uh keep up the magical to keep the magics in check so as to not as they will then not be corrupted by uh the the horrors of the warp but of course, the issue, as always, when it comes to oh, um, as always when it comes down to, you are already ready. That's nice to know. Right? Yeah, we're going that way. Determining the great plan. No, motherfuckers. You're gonna run away, aren't you? Oh, would you look at that? Runs away. You could run away from him. But you couldn't run away from him! <laughs> yeah, he's so fucked. And dead. Jose, 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 Jose. Make your way towards. And he's almost able to. He's, he's now able to get certain things now, which is nice. Uh, da, 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 he's wary, which is pretty good. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, he's already got that. Uh, doesn't have to stand your ground, though. Almost can get one of those. Yeah, sure. Right, so you're mad to motherfucking get down. He's going to move over to El Calabad. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, He's already being built. That would prove to be kind of a good idea. And you would also be quite a good idea. Actually, wait, no. Yes, you would be a good idea. <laughs> and then I guess we'll get to upgrade you. Yay. Uh, right. I'll have both. Yeah, so I'll use get. Um, I'll both get you guys some. Um, good shit. Good. And then what else? You seem to be okay. You seem to be okay. You seem to be okay. You could do with some constructing. But we can't obviously at the moment afford the big one. Yet. But still, it's getting there. And, oh, I can't wait to upgrade the geomantic webway with you. That'll be nice. Depending on what we can do, I might consider breaking the alliance with the Jilluk Oasis really quickly. Just so we can kill them and nab the whole territory in one go. Then we can kind of relax and go... Boop -boop -boop, and like... Uh, <laughs> but that's all dependent on a few things. But no, so the main... So in a law mind, in a semi-law-friendly -friend, minded attitude, the plan is to try and get um, Krokgar... Well, the plan that Krokgar has been given over... Uh, well, the mission, it's not, again, I'm not really good at this at the moment. The mission that Krokgar has been sent to complete is to secure territories in the regions to try and uh, build the geomantic locus, or I think what it's called, the buildings, 
Obviously, because my brain is not exactly what's considered normal, my brain is interpreted as the geomantic webway. Um, because I like the sound webway, it makes more sense, and in essence, to what I can understand, it pretty much does the same thing I'm talking about. So, by establishing a southern web, we isolate and secure the southern half of the world and prepare it um, to, for the inevitable storm of chaos. And on the other side, they're focused on the other side of the pond. The lizard, the older, more traditional lizard men tribes are basically doing what they can to try and. Ooh, Bretonia has formed a confederation with the Knights of Origo. That's good to know and annoying because if I'm at war with them. I don't know. This is the thing in war. This is the good thing in world of, uh, in Warhammer is that if you whoop someone's ass and take territory off them, you can then say, "I've won the war against you. I can't physically beat you um, because you're over in such and such a place. But because I've achieved multiple victories, will you please have peace with me and take the you know take it on the chin?" And um, they're and they're like, "Okay, fair enough." And Mister Oh. Having a raid, are they? And that's their entire army. Good to know. This may be an opportunity to attack and deliver a decisive blow. So yes, the plan is in the law-minded plan is that we are to provide the old ones with a tr with a secure and stable geomantic webway. That then can allow us to, that, that, well, that, that then can allow us to successfully um, repel the servants of chaos, because obviously, you know, chaos is coming. It's come. It's bad. We all know it. Where is this? Right. All the way up there. He can attack. I don't think we'll get the benefit of... They have rocket artillery? Shit. They've got more respect in my group now. Wait, this is humans as well. Since when did humans get Raketenwerfer? Damn. I don't think we'll be in a position, but you know what? Try it. No, we're not. No magic for us, nor do we have any flyers. Uh, leadership. That's a 20 stack and there's no magic. They also have artillery. We have artillery, but they have better artillery. No, don't try it. No. Not quite the maneuverability that we need, but that's fine. They're in a position to counterattack if, if needs be, which is the important thing. I had hoped that they would be in a good position, but I guess not. What did I just do? I just think I loaded something, didn't I? Wow! I never thought I'd do that, but Jesus Christ, I actually think I did it. I fucking did, didn't I? I loaded rather than saved. I blanked. Well! I did it! Yeah! <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Uh... Right, well... Shit. Oh, I even fucking quit to the main menu. Isn't that lovely? Right. <laughs> well done, Mr. Jaeger. <laughs> Luckily for us, I think I saved and quit. Um, so, yeah, there we go.
Cock up number one. <laughs> I suppose not number one, but still. Oh my god. Well, there we go. You gotta do it once in a while. I'm fairly certain I'm not the only one who's done this, so... At least I'm... Hey, I'm the first one probably to film it and go, Well, looks like I fucked up. <laughs> JJ. Oh, boy. But still, um... Yeah, there you go. It's done. It's possible. We can fuck up. <sighs> right. Right, I think we are legit just... Yeah, so let's... Uh, he's, yeah, in a bad position. We can upgrade if I wanted to. And I'm not exactly... I'm not in a bad spot for Save it. Uh, you've already done the webway, haven't you? Yes. Oh, bloody hell. Cheapest chips. Um, we've already built that. You know what we could do with some research? Having some extra research is going to make my life a lot easier. Right, so, there we go. All that stuff is all ready to go. And, oh, is that, a, is, that a, is that a battle? Yes, it was. Not that much, though. I will not obey. Uh, no, it's fine. We can deal with that. Right, let's end the turn. And we will see what can happen at the destruction of that army. Will the army attempt to launch some kind of attack which will make our lives a lot worse? Probably. Um, ooh, okay. So the, ooh! Okay, that's good. That's good. They haven't won and they're recovering. That could be good for us. But that means we're going to have to be pretty much on ball. We have to knock that army out and then make a move on Jaluk. We cannot afford to allow those guys to recuperate. And as they're outside the settlement, oh, they're probably going to run into it, though. But there's already someone in it which could prevent them from coming in. This could be an opportunity. This could be a very good opportunity. We need to win the battle against that, el that army there suffering minimal losses. So I think for our next episode, we're probably going to find ourselves... Um, probably going to find ourselves... Yeah, that's going to be a thing. We're definitely going to do that. I'm definitely going to give that a bash. Um, oh, okay. So, Britonia is unifying all of its tribes... Or tribes. Of its uh, armies and nations under one giant banner to try and solidify its bretonian nurses, I suppose. That's fair. That's cool. I mean... We're going to have a big one. It's going to be a big-ish one, but if we can ensure that the territory of the humans gets annihilated first. So the question is, with all the shit that the Bretonians are currently dealing with, because the Bretonians are, like, up in the mainlands. Like, in terms of where they are... Okay, so they've left their raiding stance. This is good, because it means now we can concentrate on attacking the J Jaluk Oasis then. They can fuck off. I have no... They, they are in no position to attack us, and with Krokgar and Umatadan staring down at them... Yeah, that's fine. They can do that. But I want Umatadan and I want uh, Biting. I want Umatadan and Krokgar in position, ready to assault, because then I can really give them to it. And then again, we could we could then take the territory that I wanted to take a while back, which is the important thing. Just waiting for the turns to end now, eh? Right. The final supper. Oh dear, has been dabbling in auger gastromancy. But the salsa strikes as they invent more, smacking its lips with delight. But the banquet laid before it devours the hapless sorcerers where they stand, disappears without a satisfied belch. Oh dear. Well, that's fine. We've got boasts. Uh, right, he's ranked up, which is good. And... There we 
go. Right, we're gonna piss them off, and that's fine. And our terror and our forces will look a bit bad as well, but it's fine. I'm not that fast. We made a peace treaty with them, and then they made the mistake of accepting it. Yep. Well, sucks to be you. Right, is he gonna run away from his territory? Yes, he is. Apologies for that, so we just opened up the door and slammed it. GG. Um, right. Oh, this is dickish, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. Um, <laughs> boom! Because <laughs> this would have taken forever. And let's face it, the territory wouldn't have been as nice. So there we go. Occupy. Boom. Mine. Oh. Sacred Pact Librarian. Oh. Yes. Uh, you can use that, because I know you've got a thing I can add. Yes! Fantastic. Right. And you, having gained the benefits. They. So now he's on the back foot, with his army down and out. We don't look nice in the eyes of people, and I'm sure they're not going to be too thrilled. But... Screw it. You've now taken that. You have almost ranked up to that, which is very good. Uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, Sulkin? Or Jungle Dominion? Yeah, we'll go Jungle Dominion just so we could have got all of your crocs. Uh, of your crocs. Please. Your other dudes. You're going to be chilling there. That's going to be pretty dope. And if I'm not mistaken. Shazam! That's a good victory. And, better still, we can start constructing all of the... That's 4150. Right, that's 4150 for them. Golden Tower. Uh, 4150. Resetra. Uh, 4150. I could have sworn there was a place that had one that we needed to upgrade to. Uh, right, we don't have the ability to do anything there. Kasabir? Ah, uh, it was... No. Kasabir is already about to upgrade that. Orion's Camp. We don't have the beans to produce one yet, even though there's some really good buildings here. We need to increase. Um... 4150. Your building as well. Lachmir? No, you can't build. All right, guess it's in uh, Geomatic Locus in Resetra. That exam. Oh, this is the one that allows the cheapo. Ironically, it's cheaper to build it because yeah, this is forty-six forty. Ah, but you're still. Yeah, Geomatic Spire. Forty-one fifty. That's cheap. That, that, that's just cheap. Any way you put it, that's cheap extra research rate why not so a bunch of buildings are going to be constructed and we're going to get a shitload of stuff and you you're not strong with the geomantic webway uh but we will need to reduce the corruption in the area the jaluk oasis oh really you don't have any of the buildings that i originally wanted you to have right we could do with that that's pretty dope that's pretty dope that we don't need and a mar you had a web master crafted weapons group as well. I am disappointed. Anyway, that is going to be it from us, guys. So thank you all so very much for watching. So in the next episode, we shall be having... Oh, oh um, I'm thinking probably that for the time being, just to keep the people happy. And then we can begin to work around it. So, we are going to be seeing... The coast for the first time. Oh. I really wish I had the um, the sound effect from Dawn of War when you completed a mission objective. Like from Dawn of War 1. Oh, you're attacking. Oh, they're laying siege to Deluk. They're going to die, but hey ho. Ooh, have they?
they... Have they won? The Bretonians are certainly pissed off. But no, like in uh, Dawn of War 1 and Winter Assault, um, whenever you got an objective, and I think you could, you got it in Dawn of War Dark Crusade, but I don't, I'm not sure. Um, whenever you completed a mission objective, when, when you got assigned a mission objective, there'd be a bunch of these sort of like pr um, priests in a choral it's just going like, oh, And then as you successfully completed an objective, not only would you receive this sort of sort of sw weird sort of swift moving sort of deal, but like all of them just could sort of go, oh, Like this proper, you did it! Fuck yeah! Sort of deal. And it was this, it, you were just like, yeah! Whenever you completed a mission objective. And it was just such a overwhelmingly awesome moment. Um, which I just loved. It was one of those things that I've thought of wall. I just, I loved having. So having that in this game, having that sound effect to play would be glorious without regard. Oh. I'm defending against Sudanberg. Oh, and those bastards are attacking the reinforcements. Oh dear. These guys are all ready and ready and willing to go. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. We'll have a go at knocking out Jaluk, and then we can turn our attentions to um, the other dudes. So the humans are attempting one last gamble. Non-aggression. No. We're good, thank you very much. <laughs> Still, um, with those guys gone now, this could be a good opportunity to turn against the uh, good opportunity to throw against the enemy forces. We still need to reach the coast, though. As much as I'm all excited for seeing the coast, we still need to reach the coast and uh, successfully hold the coast. <laughs> but there we go. Slight preview for the next episode. I'm just so desperate to see the coast. Oh, look! There it is. There it fucking is. The ocean. The clear ocean. There's even a, a port here. Which is the Sorcery Island. With a port. And then there's a place called La Chique, which is very under... Uh, is very, um... And then there's a human... I think it's a Astalia, so it's a human port. But al which I believe is over there, yep it is, along with a few other territories, is all under the control of those guys, and they're raiding over there. Oh dear. So, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button, and of course, subscribing to the channel. I hope to catch you then in the next one. And don't forget, hit the notification. don't forget to hit the notification bell, as, as always, YouTube doesn't like to be logical. Anyway, I will see you then. This is Mr. Jaeger, signing out.